Hello stock stalkers, welcome back to the channel where you get regular updates on Dubai and Abu Dhabi stock market. If you are new here, subscribe and on the notification so that you don't miss out on any of my videos, so that you can grab the opportunities at the right time. Let's first analyze the index and then we check out some stocks. This is the weekly chart of Dubai Financial Market Index. We can see some weakness here as it have already started to trade below the low of this red candle that was right at the resistance. Well, for now the closing is above 4000 points which is good, but on weekly chart we can see some selling pressure. If I go down to daily chart then we can analyze further and we can see it's making lower lows and lower highs right here. This was the high and now we can see it's making a bearish price action. So what can be the scenario from here? Well, there are good chances we can see it going up, find resistance around this zone that is 4100 area and then maybe it can retest the support area that is around 4020. This is important support and resistance area for DFM index. For DFM index to be bullish again, we want to see a close above this area that is 4085 points. For now, we can see market index is stuck within this range. This is support area and this is resistance. So market is waiting for a direction. Hopefully it breaks to the upside and resume its uptrend. And this is the weekly chart of ADX index. We can see it's under selling pressure. Resistance is at 10,000 points. Good support area was around 9,800. Unfortunately, market did not sustain about this zone and it broke the support. On the way down, it also broke 9,720 that was support area and we are seeing a bounce from 9,630 zone. So on the weekly chart, we can see ADX index is under pressure. It's correcting itself, but the correction is deeper. If I go down to daily, we can see a bounce right here as we saw on the weekly chart around 9,630. But we can also see it had made a long wick at the bottom. So there are good chances. Maybe we can see a upside momentum and then it may want to come back for a retest around this area right here like this. And then we can wait for a bullish price action to confirm the trend. For now, we can see a strong momentum to the upside and this is a correction phase, which is deeper. As I had mentioned in my previous analysis, we will now consider ADX index to be bullish once we see a cross above this swing that is around 9800 zone. And then next hurdle is 9900. Well, in case if this support zone is not holding, if we see it's getting broken, then next support is around 9500. Coming week will be very important and interesting, which will decide the market direction. Hopefully we see bulls getting activated. One of the heavy weighted stock that is Emirates NBD Bank is taking a bounce right from the support area. We had analyzed this in my earlier video as well. For now, it's looking a bit bearish. If it fails to close above 17.10, then we might see a head and shoulder pattern potentially. So just be prepared for it. In case if it breaks this neckline, then we will see more downside momentum. Support is still intact. Hopefully it will stay above this zone that is 16.30 area. Al Ansari exchange is still going sideways. We are waiting for a breakout. Support is at 1.16 and resistance as we know is above 1.27. Previously when we saw this green candle I had mentioned, wait for a breakout and a close about this zone so that we can confirm that now it's a genuine breakout. And then very next day we saw selling pressure. For now, if you want a early bird entry, this is the right place because the price is right at the support zone. Whenever it comes around this area that is 1.17 to 1.18, it goes up. So plan your entries accordingly with your risk appetite. Imar Properties is looking weaker. Resistance is around 7.15. At this candle right at the top, there were good chances. If it could spend some days here and then make a breakout, this would be very genuine and this would be sustainable move. For now, we can see selling pressure right from the resistance zone and this is our important support and resistance area for now that is around 6.85 to 6.90 area. There are good chances it can come back for a dip and then again it would try for a breakout. For now, Imar Properties is in a no trading zone. Diva is sideways as of now but the good part is after hitting the resistance it dropped to the downside. Now we can see it's flattening right near the support and resistance area. In Friday's session it opened with a gap up but the volume is very low. I would consider this bullish once we see a close above 2.61 area. 
and then slowly and steadily we can expect upside momentum. Salic is looking interesting. Check this out. In Thursday's session, we saw this huge green candle with good volumes, but then in Friday's session, it opened with a gap down. It tried to go past previous candles opening, but then it got rejected. Last closing is at 3.37. Tomorrow, if it opens with a gap up opening, there are good chances it can go up and it can retest 3.50. Overall, Salik is still trending to the upside. Empower is also a bit slow. In Thursday's session, we saw good buying pressure, but then again in Friday's session, it opened with a gap down, clearly indicating that buyers are not aggressive. We can also see it's following this trend line that was broken. For now, we will only consider once it breaks this resistance of 1.90, and then it can resume its upside momentum. Or else, if it opens flat or gap down, there are good chances it will come back to retest 1.80 area. And then we have Talim. There was a positive news that they are planning to expand in Saudi. For now, we can see price action is just sideways, so it's not interesting. We will only plan to buy once we see a breakout and a close above 4.26. For now, this is in a no trading zone. There are good chances it can break the support and come down to fill up this gap that it had created previously. So we wait for a breakout to the upside to take any positions. DR is under selling pressure. We can see from 0.780 people are just offloading their stocks. Thankfully, we are seeing some support around 0.660 to 0.670 area. But still, this move cannot be trusted. It may hit any resistance to make a new low. We will only consider this bullish once we see a close above 0.710 so that it can move up from here. For now, this can be very tricky as resistance is very near 0.700. Maybe it may hit the resistance to see selling pressure again. Many of you have requested for union properties, so here is it. No doubt we are in an uptrend for now and it's holding right near the support area. Previously this was resistance and after breaking out it's visiting this zone again and again. Well there are good chances it can break this support, go down lower till about 0.370 or if buyers want to defend this zone then we have to see a close above 0.410. To consider this positive, but it will be bullish once we see a breakout above 0.425. For now, this area is very important for UPP. Hopefully, it does not break and go lower from here. Imar development is looking interesting and it's still in an uptrend. For now, we can see it's just going sideways. I'm waiting for a breakout. Next resistance is at 6.70. Once this is taken out, I'm very sure it will cross 7.00 very soon. For now, support is at 6.40. In case if it breaks this one, then it may retest 6.25 as well. But for now, we can see bullish momentum. Ajman Bank is looking weaker. I'm on daily chart as of now. It was trading in this range for so many days right at the top. This is what exactly I had explained in my members video. We will wait for a breakout. If it breaks the resistance, we enter the trade. If it breaks the support, we are no more interested in this stock. Why is that? Because clearly in Thursday session, we saw a breakdown and we are also seeing a successful retest of this zone that was previously a support. Now it's acting as resistance. We do not buy a stock that is breaking down just because we are getting at a cheaper price. We want to buy with bullish momentum. Say for here, when people started buying, we enter the trade when it gets back into the safe zone, again the continuation and now it's going sideways. So we wait for a proper price action similar to this one. When it breaks the range, we want to enter here so that we can gain from this big momentum. I was expecting a similar kind of move as price was now going sideways, expecting a breakout. But since we did not see any breakout, so obviously no positions. Aldar Properties for now is trading within this big range. Resistance is right here at about, we can say, 3.35 area, support at 5.07. For now, we can see good buying momentum from about 5.20 area, but resistance is very near. It would be good if we can see a breakout so that we can plan our trades, else there are good chances what it can do is retest this area that is 5.36, and then again, we can see a downward momentum, which we do not want to see. So hopefully this time when it breaks, we will enter with a bang. Multiply is looking interesting. No doubt it's still in a strong uptrend. For now, it's right at the resistance area that is about 4.05. The best part is it's just hanging around the resistance. Tomorrow, if it opens with a gap up, there are good chances it will continue its upside momentum. Or it would be much better if it spends some more days here and then we expect a huge momentum to the upside. Next resistance is at 4.15 to 4.20 area. But in case if it's spending some days right near the resistance, then there are good chances it can even break past this resistance and close higher. 
For now, support is at 3.95. If this is broken, it can even come down to retest 3.85 to 3.90 area. But overall, multiply is bullish. Q holding is not looking interesting. I'm on the daily chart. We can see it's just going sideways for so many weeks. For the last two days, we can see negative candles. There are good chances it may retest 3.60 area. In case if this support does not hold, we can even visit 3.45 and then potentially it can even come down till about 3.30. Hopefully we don't see this scenario, but looking at the last two candles, it's looking weaker. For now, if you are planning to buy, wait for a breakout above this zone that is 3.80. Once we see a breakout of this resistance, buyers will be interested. For now, it's in a no trading zone. Apex is at a very crucial support and resistance area. We can see 2.50 is resistance, strong selling pressure and now we are seeing bearish price action. If Apex wants to hold, this is a perfect area, otherwise we can even expect it to come down lower till about 2.10. Coming week will be very crucial for Apex, if it holds here then there are good chances it can continue its upside momentum. Resistance between 2.35 to 2.40, hopefully if it breaks then we can even see 2.55. For now, let's wait for a buying momentum right near the support. Burjil is looking interesting, it have closed right near the resistance that is around 2.86 to 2.88 area. Tomorrow if it opens with a gap up, there are good chances we can see upside momentum, next target should be around 3.10. In case if it opens with a gap down or if it breaks the support area then first area of support is 2.80, if this is taken out we can also see around 2.75. Overall Burjil is still in an uptrend. And Presight is also not interesting. Many of you have asked for Presight. Well, that is the reason I was not uploading the video because Presight have already broken the support. It retested the support that is now acting as a resistance. I would not be interested till the time it breaks this resistance again that is around 3.20 to 3.22. For now, there are good chances it can come down retest around 3.00. And then Bayanath is also at a very crucial support area, it will decide if it wants to break this trend and go down further or if it can spend some days here, make some bullish price action and then we can see some upside momentum. For now Bayanath is not looking interesting but it's at a very important support area. Coming week will decide if this is ready for a buy, we wait for a bullish price action and then we take positions. For now we can clearly see a breakdown of this trend line. So wait and watch game in this stock. Fertiglobe is looking very interesting. I had recommended this stock in my members video also. This trend line is important support area for Fertiglobe. Right at this zone, I had recommended this stock in my members video after looking at the buying pressure to confirm if buyers are still defending and interested in this area. Last candle is red. I think it may come down to retest this support area that is 3.47 to 3.50 area. Any buying pressure should be considered as bullish and then it may continue its upside momentum. This is the resistance area that is between 3.70 to 3.75. Or in a negative scenario, if this support is not holding, it can come down to retest the same trend line that's acting as a support. We will wait for a price action and then we will re-enter. Watch out guys, Abu Dhabi ports can make some good move. It's been trading in the range for so many days now. I'm expecting a breakout to the upside. So once we see a breakout of 6.45 area, this is good for a buy. Slowly and steadily, I'm expecting a retest of 6.70. But in a negative scenario, if it breaks this support that is at 6.25, but just in case if it breaks the support around 6.25 then there are very good chances we can see a new low. So I hope it just sustains within this range and then we see a breakout which will attract buyers. Guys I am trying to quickly review as many stocks as I can. So please do not forget to support the channel, smash that like button. Adno gas is taking good support right at the previous level where it moved to the upside breaking the previous resistance and we are seeing bullish momentum right into the same area. There are good chances it can continue its upside momentum. Next resistance area is around 3.60 and then potentially it can retest 3.70 as well. Manazil is at a very crucial support area. Hopefully it holds here. In case if this is broken then we can even see it coming down till about 3.90. For now Manazil is negative after the financial results. So we will wait for a proper confirmation, a proper price action to enter the trade. For now even Manazil is in a no trading zone. But if you want an early bird entry, wait for a buying pressure right into the support zone here and please plan for a quick entry and exit. Remember when you are trading against the trend, always take smaller quantities and plan for a quick entries and exit. 
when you are with the trend you can plan big quantities but for now we can see manazil is negative right at the top i had mentioned in my members video as well we wait for a breakout if it is breaking to the upside we will see good move but unfortunately it broke the support after the results and from here continuously we are seeing sell off there are good chances it may take a pause here so plan for a quick entry and exit according to your risk appetite and money management this video was a bit longer i tried to include as many stocks i could so do not forget to subscribe the channel for regular updates on dubai and abu dhabi stock market thanks for watching keep stocking